Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I have a design team project for a visible image, and I am going to be using several of the stamp sets, but the main stamp set I'm using is called Dragonfly Reflection. It's a really big stamp set with this really beautiful big butter, uh, butterfly, dragonfly, and then I'm also going to use uh, scripted streets and grunge tones, and then the sentiment I'm using one kind word, but... I decided to pull out my tissue paper. This is not regular tissue paper that you would use in gift packaging. And um, in fact, before I purchased this a couple years ago, I did experiment with it uh, with regular tissue paper to see if it would bleed and it didn't, which makes sense because if you have a package and you have a gift wrap tissue paper, you don't want it bleeding, you know, if it happens to get wet onto whatever you have in your uh, whatever you're wrapping with. So uh, this tissue paper is actually, I think I bought it from Amazon, but it is specifically used for this technique, which I haven't done in a few years. And I thought I would go ahead and pull it out. It is super fun, really super easy. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and I've already started with a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half uh, Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I went ahead and I prepped my card panel with my anti-static bag. And then I inked up that scripty uh, stamp from the Scripted Streets stamp set and uh, ink that up with my watermark ink and then um, cover that with white embossing powder and i'm going to do the same thing with the grunge tones with kind of the little a dot stamp i'm just taking it and stamping it all over and then um, adding that white embossing powder um, and heating that up as well and then for the Tissue paper, I, I cut them in strips and then I'm just tearing pieces off. I wasn't really exactly sure how I was going to do this, but uh, you can add the water first and then add the tissue paper, or you can do what I'm doing, which is I'm adding the tissue paper first and then adding the water. You might get a darker color with adding the water first, um, but I have a video that I did a, a while back uh, with tissue paper. I'll see if I can find it. Um, if so, I will link it below. So it'll give you maybe a few more ideas on how to use tissue paper on your cards or in your art. Um, and so after I press that with a baby wipe, I just pulled that up and it just gives a really faint uh, it, impression of that color or where that tissue paper was. I'm also taking the baby wipe and kind of stamping off with my baby wipe um, onto other areas of the card to kind of transfer that color in other places. And the last color I use is yellow, which is really super, super light, uh, not super noticeable. But then I decided to go ahead and try the white tissue paper. I wasn't sure if it would work and it didn't. So um, I thought maybe it would lighten up maybe other colors if you put it on top, but it didn't really do that. Uh, so then I ended up just getting a little bowl of water and dipping some scrunched up uh, of that pink tissue paper, just kind of splattering it all over the card. And then I'll take my baby wipe and kind of um, mop up a little bit of that water. And then I'll also take my heat tool and heat that up to uh, get it completely dry. And this is one of those te techniques I don't think you can really go wrong. It's just really fun to experiment with it and see what you can do with the different colors of tissue paper and the patterns you can make. Um, so if you have some bleeding tissue paper, I encourage you to try this. Um, but I'm thinking about doing a video for some alternatives where you can kind of do the same technique if you don't have bleeding tissue paper. So um, I'll start working on that and get that up soon. Uh, but I went ahead and I took the dragonfly stamp and positioned it where I wanted it. Um, I did have to stamp this up several times. I am using VersaFine black ink um, and I did prep my panel um, even though I'm using clear which I don't usually prep my panel with my anti-static bag. I didn't want any um, embossing powder sticking so I did go ahead and prep it and then I stamped that several times just because I'm stamping over an already um, heat embossed uh, stamps on there and so it was a little bit harder to get that stamp to uh, fully connect with the paper um, but you can see a little bit of that white coming through from the um, areas that I already did stamp uh, coming through the black a little bit and I really love how that looks and then I thought it was a little plain so I took another stamp and just added a few uh, little stamps around the edges of the cardstock. I also splattered some gold and some white on the panel and that's going to finish off 
this card. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video or find it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. As always, I thank you so much for spending some time here with me today, and I hope to see you next time.